Hey everybody and welcome to my new and proper kitchen. It's been literally so many years now since I've had a proper kitchen with actual space in it. I can like cook things and bake things and it's like Funny the things you appreciate when you don't have them. I had this like baking idea for a really long time. If you've watched me for a long time, you know that I spent nearly four years living in Germany. And if you're from Germany, as I know a lot of you are, or you've ever been there, uh, you'll know that everywhere sells Bretzeln, uh, those like, I guess you call them in the USA, soft pretzels. They're really cheap from bakeries and they're even cheaper if you buy them from the supermarket because you can get them in like whole boxes, like just the dough and then you just put them in the oven, bake them at home. And I had this idea to basically thaw out the dough and just make them into a, like a pentagram, pentacle shape. But I thought, no, that would be cheating, that would be too easy and not everybody has access to pre-made pretzels. But now that I have a real kitchen, I thought I'd actually give them a go. Turns out they're not that difficult to make and the recipe I'm going to show you tastes pretty much exactly like the authentic thing. So you're probably familiar with the traditional pretzel shape, but I thought it would be fun to try and make them pentacle shaped. <laughs> I don't know how good a job I did, but I mean, you know, practice makes perfect. I am by no means a good baker or good at making food or anything. It was really just an idea I wanted to do and hopefully it serves as some sort of inspiration. I know a lot of you out there are much, much better than I am at making baked stuff, so probably you'll have a good deal more success making them look a bit more beautiful than I did. This Halloween season is coming up pretty soon. I thought it'd be good to have a crack at making the uh, pentacle shaped pretzels. Just something a wee bit different. I thought they'd be perfect for Halloween parties or just for like afternoon teas or lunches or just whenever you feel like making them I suppose. I will link below to a page on my website itsblackfriday.com where you can see the whole recipe all written down and stuff there. Weil dieses Rezept aus Deutschland kommt, vielleicht macht es Sinn, dass ich dieses Video auf Deutsch mache. Keine Sorge, wir machen weiter auf Englisch. Ein paar Arschlöcher haben mir beschuldigt, dass ich kein Deutsch gelernt habe während meiner Zeit dort. Aber das ist voll Bullshit. Ich habe einen Kurs gemacht und jeden Abend lerne noch ein bisschen zu Hause. Ich weiß, dass es weit von perfekt ist. Es ist doch eine schwierige Sprache und ich bin ganz schüchtern. So, in Deutschland findet man Brezeln in jeder Bäckerei sehr billig. Das ist für mich der Geschmack des Landes. Dieses Rezept schmeckt fast genau wie das Original, aber mit einer anderen magischen Form. Painter Pretzels, los geht's! First, put three and a half cups of plain flour into a mixing bowl or if you're lazy like me, the bucket of a bread machine. Eins, zwei, drei, halb. Make a well in the center. Then pour in one cup of warm water or lukewarm milk. I'm just using water. Sprinkle a tablespoon of dry yeast onto the water or crumble a block of solid yeast. Add a teaspoon of sugar for the yeast to eat on. Oh, nom 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 nom. Stir it a bit. Some recipes ask for lard, but butter is also fine. Add a soft blob of butter, about 25 to 50 grams. I hate kneading dough, so I took the lazy option and used my bread machine to mix it up. If you don't have a bread machine, then of course just mix it up yourself by hand and let the dough sit for about 20 minutes to proof and rise up. The dough should hopefully double in size. Divide into about eight sections. You might need to wet your hands slightly to get the dough to bow to your wishes. You can roll it out on a board, but I found it a wee bit easy just to roll it between my hands. So roll the dough out into very long, thin sausages. The part for the ring should be thicker, but the star part shouldn't be much thicker than a pencil. Make a ring and twist the ends together, and carefully lay the thinner sausage over the ring in the shape of a five-pointed star. Pinch the corners and mush the dough carefully into the ring to ensure a good shape and a good stick.
Now be careful here as this stuff is very fizzy and spitty. Traditionally the nice brown coating on pretzels is created using caustic lye, but baking soda or bicarbonate of soda is a considerable deal less dangerous. Boil a litre of water in a pot. And to every litre of water, add three tablespoons of baking soda. After shaping your pretzel, dip them in the hot water and let them swim for 30 to 60 seconds, making sure the whole thing gets wet, then remove it with a slotted spoon type thing and place on a baking sheet. Sprinkle with thick chunky salt. I'm using coarse sea salt or whatever topping you fancy. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees or 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, they're actually pretty easy to do and just a cool fun idea I thought. So if I can make them, you can make them. Liebe Herr Gott, sie sind so lecker. Like I said, the recipe is on my website on itsblackfriday.com. If you do have a crack at making your own pinta pretzels at home, I would love to see them. So if you put them on Instagram, do please tag me so I can have a look and be impressed at what will undoubtedly be a much better effort than what I've done. I feel like with a bit of practice, maybe I could get the shape a bit better, but I don't know. I think they didn't turn out too badly and they, they taste bloody good. Now that I've finally got a proper kitchen, I can actually have a go at all the other like silly spooky baking food ideas that I've had for ages. Thank you very much for watching and entertaining my silly little spooky baking idea. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click the red button below and join us. So as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other. Bis zum nächsten Mal. See you next time. Bye.